Damn it, I have an exam today. I have 30 minutes left to learn. I hate public transport. Once I have a job, I'm going to buy an epic car. Morning class. Today we're discussing the concept of elasticity in economics. What? Did I miss something? Elasticity? Like stretching a rubber band? In a way, yes. Elasticity measures how responsive quantity demanded or supplied is to changes in price or income. Ah, oh, got it. I think. Yes, Sarah? Professor, could you explain cross-price elasticity? I'm still a bit confused about how it relates to substitutes and complements. What on earth is this about? I must have learned the wrong chapters for homework. Cross-price elasticity is indeed about the relationship between two goods. For substitutes, when the price of one good goes up, the demand for the other goes up as well. Think of Coke and Pepsi. If the price of Coke increases, more people might buy Pepsi instead. So like, if McDonald's raises its prices fee, more people finally might switch to Burger King? <laughs> exactly. You guys seem to get it, so let's start the exams. I hope you've learned it well, because you wouldn't want to end up working at McDonald's. I know this is going to be a problem. I don't know about this material. Guys, what did you write down at the first question of the exam? I believe I wrote down 103.5. I had 102.8. I also had 103.5. That must be the right answer. Now mate, you had to divide before subtracting. That gave you 102.8. What was your answer, Wojak? Mine was 3. <laughs> Looks like you're going to fail your exam, mate. I hope not. I'm doing quite bad lately. As if the world wants me to end up at McDonald's. McDonald's is not a bad place to be. We need employees in there as well. Yeah, but I'd rather end up somewhere that makes me enough money to buy a Lambo. We all want that. But we're not going to make that much money working for someone else. Yeah, we need to become entrepreneurs. Maybe we can become influencers or dropshippers. Or try out a rap career. If we want to succeed in a career like that, it is necessary to become a school dropout too. Yeah, I dunno. Guess I'm too afraid to be a school dropout entrepreneur. Whoa, Jack. Time to go. The break is over and we have a project to finish. All right. I'm coming. <laughs> yes, sir. Guys, it's almost time. We really need to wrap this project up soon. Yeah, I'm starting to panic a bit. We still have so much to do. And where's Chad? He's been off the radar since the beginning of the project. We can't finish this without him. Sorry guys. I got caught up with something. What did I miss? You missed the fact that we have a project due tomorrow, Chad. And you haven't done a single thing yet. Now, now, Wojak. Let's not be too hard on Chad. He's been under a lot of stress lately. Isn't that right, Chad? Yeah. Sarah's right. Thanks for understanding. Are you serious? We're all stressed, but that's no excuse for slacking off. Wojak, let's give Chad a chance. I'm sure he'll come through for us. Besides, he's such a valuable member of our team in other ways. Professor Smith, I need to talk to you about our group project. Chad has been completely slacking off and it's not fair to the rest of us who've been putting in the effort. I can't work like this. Ah, whoa Jack, what seems to be the problem? Chad hasn't done anything for the project and the deadline is today. I've had to pick up the slack and it's not right. I want him out of our group. Listen up, Wojak. Group work isn't always easy. Learning to work with different personalities and contributions is an important skill for your future career. But this isn't fair. Chad isn't doing his part and it's affecting our grade. I hear you, Wojak. However, in the real world you'll encounter all types of co-workers. Some who contribute more than others. Learning to navigate these situations is important. So you're not going to do anything about it? I'm afraid not, Wojak. This is a learning experience for all of you. Sometimes you just have to make the best of a challenging situation. 
It's what we call real life preparation. Damn it, I'm really tired and I still have lots of homework to do. Hey bro, are you joining the gaming session tonight? We start in about 10 minutes. I can't. I have too much homework left for tomorrow's exam. Damn, sucks to be a student. Get back to your wage job, mate. Ha ha, see ya. Life is so hard. I barely have time to play video games and relax with friends. And I'm broke. I hope life will get better once I have a job.